Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's just return to Glute Bridge. I don't want to put you off your cornflakes and feedback is a gift, so thank you for yours. Here's me wearing slightly longer shorts. I want to be using this video again rather than it become a video nasty. Right, Glute Bridge is a great exercise, very versatile exercise, but very often the basic exercise is more that we can adapt and we could use and we can get more bang for the buck out of the exercise. So this is what this is really about. The basic glute bridge position, as you've seen, the thighs are straight, nice tension in the thighs, less so in the hamstrings, certainly in the glutes, which the exercise gives its name. I'm up on my shoulder blades here and I've got a straight line between the shoulder blades and the knees. That's the basic position, hands down straight in line with the thighs. That's the basic position, holding there, keeping the hips up, keeping the hips up, and I can feel that tension in the quads, in the thighs at that point. If we maintain that position, we can add a little bit more stress on the body, keeping the hands down, elevating one leg. So now my thighs are in line, I've got a straight line between my right toe and my right shoulder. A little bit more stress on the body, all positive. Or we can make it a little bit more stressful with the basic position by putting the hands across the stomach and raising one leg again. So thighs are in line. I'm just testing a little bit, a bit more balance and coordination and just all round core stability. So there you are, there's your basic position. You can add some difficulty in that by doing some activity with your shoulders. So here we are, I've got two four kilo kettlebells. Glute bridge stays on and from this position I'm just doing a variation of a chest press, that's a neutral position straight up, and a shoulder press, keeping the glute bridge on all the time. We turn to neutral, shoulders, or rather chest and shoulders, or we can do it one up, one neutral, and we can be exercising. And you see, I'm just stressing the core in a different way, and I can achieve some great stuff just with lightweight weights. Now for me, probably four or five kilos in each hand is probably all I want to be doing, because I'm just developing apart from balance and coordination, just working on the ligaments, the joints, and the connective tissue. Okay, if I don't want to go too heavy too soon, I can regress that. And here I've got two cans, 400 grams, that's all, pineapple slices, red kidney beans, or basically whatever you've got in the cupboard. Same again, just even a lighter weight on the end of a lever is gonna achieve some gains, especially if you have some instability or weakness in your shoulders to start with. A lot of these exercises are great to build up, like I say, that connective tissue before you go on to higher weights. You're limited by your imagination, but you can feel the positive stress going through your shoulders, just building up the connections. And I've had a few uh, of my breast cancer girls, actually, reporting greater mobility just by repeatedly, repetitively doing these sort of exercises over a period. It's not going to happen in five minutes. Okay, so there you go. So have a look in your cupboard and see what you've got, but regress or progress as you think fit. If you want to weight yourself down a little bit, you can get a decent sized kettlebell. It's just a 12 kilo, 16 kilo, whatever you're happy with, but don't go too heavy too soon. And what we're doing here is a glute bridge and shoulder press. So I'm tracking it over my shoulder. You can do a dumbbell as well. You may want to put a carpet or a mat at the back so don't smash a hole in the floor. But really just stressing the core there, up and down, and watching the track of the elbows as we do it. There we go. And just be careful when you pop that down there. So there you go. Stressing the shoulder whilst keeping the glute bridge on. So you've got two parts of the body being worked. You can take it a little bit further. Band pull apart. So you're familiar with that. It's like this the chest expansion exercise. Once again, if I move a bit further, so you can see what's going on at the bottom end with the glute bridge, and here, straight up, neutral position, and all we're doing is pulling down towards the chest. And it sits, same as a band pull apart, just on the sternal notch, and we can either press it, press and hold, and you'll find the tension that is good for you. Don't have it too loose, because you're not achieving anything, and don't let it get too floppy in the middle. So you've got the tension on, big pressure there, keep that tension on there, keep the positive stress going through the shoulders, there we go. Okay, last one. All we need to do here, so if you think of that as being a, a hoop, I'm putting my legs through the hoop. So my legs are through there, I've got an upper strand and a lower strand. Pull the lower strand through. 
You can do this with shorts as well, but it is, it does tend to bite into your legs a little bit. So you see I've got it looped around there. Once again, this is like an overhead press. It's like the straight arm raise that we've done stood up as well. So we've got the glute bridge on again, and my hands are about shoulder width apart. I've got a neutral wrist, so don't allow the wrist to flex laterally. And all I'm gonna be doing is from this position, glute bridge on, I'm pulling up, trying to touch the ground, keep the arms straight, a bit of pressure through the shoulders, and it's actually helping me to keep the glute bridge on as well. So it's like a, a frontal raise, but we're doing it obviously in a horizontal position, just maintaining that posture so I've got the shoulder blades on the ground and the glute bridge stays on, okay? You can mix and match variations in terms of that, but that's a basic shoulder press. The wider you pull, a slightly different press here, so a bit of a wider grip, not too wide, that's just more than shoulders. Harder, obviously. Slightly different pull, but really good exercise. But like I say, go for the accuracy of the exercise first before you go for speed. Speed always comes after technique. Okay, that's all glute bridge. See you next time, thank you.